Hello people, I hope you guys are happy, safe and healthy in this ongoing pandemic crisis. I am Shiv and I am security researcher. My job allows me to analyze Android malwares on daily basis. Recently, I came across a Android malware which was basically a banker. Uh, bankers are Android malwares which use uh, tactics to steal your banking credentials. So this malware was very interestingly bypassing SMS based two factor authentication. So in order to steal the SMS, an Android app needs to have Android, permi Android SMS read permissions. Without this, an Android app cannot read your SMSs. So this was an interesting research where this Android application or this Android malware was not at all asking for any Android permissions. And another way to uh, get this permission is dynamically asking for the permissions, but that was again not the case. So that made me uh, think like exactly how was this Android malware stealing SMS. So researching that I came across this notification listener service. So this banker was using notification listener service. So what exactly is notification listener service? Let's see a service that receives call from the system when new notifications are posted or removed. So this is very clever trick to steal your SMSs. So I'll show you the, unfortunately I cannot show you the Android banker, but I'll show you how exactly this was done with a demo app. So let's get started. This is my phone. Basically this is the phone I'm using here. And here is the code. So here, Interestingly, say for example, if you want to read an SMS, then here you ideally read and uh, ideally ask for the permission read SMS. But interesting thing about this notification listener is you don't actually need to declare it here like this. Just you can just leave it blank. And this to overcome this, we have to define this over here inside the service so one major example one major advantage of this is if you if, if in case i upload this app on play store play store will not show inside the permission details that this application needs notification uh, reading permissions so that's done in manifest let's go to main activity on main activity on create we check if the permission is granted or not as this is this permission doesn't come under dangerous we don't need to mention it here in android manifest but yes we will need to uh, we'll need the permission uh, that will take it indirectly so it checks the permission if permission is not granted we'll open up the dialog for enabling this notification reading access to the malware in this case this is just a demo app but in our case, let's consider this as the banker. And once the permission is granted, we will just start a notification service. And this notification service, if you see here, notification, whenever a notification is posted, this piece will just ignore this file things. Just focus on here. We, we fetch the output here. We read the notification. We get the strings, we get the exact text what is inside the notification and uh, I, I'll show you the output directly in the log because we don't want to go much into detail here. This is not an Android development video. So here let me show you what exactly I am going to achieve. Yes and one more thing. Uh, this is not a full fledged, uh, this is not a video for malware development. I am just showing you the main bits and pieces of notification listener. So here in this case, in our case, we will we'll see a notification enabling activity here, but this can be bypassed by a malware using accessibility service. We'll make another video on accessibility services later on, but as of now, as of now let's get started. I'll run this app over here and it is asking me yes aces it will take a little bit of time mm 
and just wait one second here I'll be using the second phone which is mine with another number and I'll show you how easy it is to steal SMS's or whatever comes into the notification here the notifications are handled by Android so an, an app in itself say for example whatsapp hangouts or sms they cannot do anything about this so if they want to whatsapp wants to provide security it can do whatever it wants inside its coding inside its app but this notification thing comes outside of the scope so let me hey sorry i had to pause the video because of some issues in android studio it was basically a cache issue issue so i had to just rebuild the app restart android uh, android studio and everything is good to go and second change that i made was the device uh, earlier was uh, the personal device and because of some privacy issues i had to switch it to another device so now everything is working fine so let's run this app and here it's running fine and it should not take much time and yeah here it is so this is basically a pop-up provided by android itself because of in here we are calling if, if the permission is not granted and that will be the case so we can just use this and uh, default android pop-up will be there and this is enabled so this is the app and name of the app is notification and we have enabled notification access for that so let's just go back and now consider a scenario where this is the malware and just go back and malware consider it as hidden and this in fact this device is now infected and this from now this device this dev device i will be using this device as sending sms but consider a scenario where bank is sending the sms to this device so let me open up locket quickly and here i am sending otp is just for example purpose so that's what message i have sent otp is 1234 and in here yes so here we see the otp has been received okay sorry so here i i, I was just above so if you see notification is posted let me show you once again so in here we'll do this is private message that's what i have typed in here and let me send it again so if that's sent again we'll see the notification here and yeah that's the notification so so please uh, remember this is the lockets that we are locket entries that we are seeing uh, from the app so this is this message so one plus point of this is not only SMSs but anything that comes up in the notification will be seen by this app or say the malware. So let, let me show you another example where let me just WhatsApp something to this number. And what do you want me to message? Just say hello friend. Uh, let's meet at coffee and this is what i'm sending and see this is the main plus point of this permission whatever comes in notification you'll be able to see in here so that's basically it now take gmail take hangouts take sms or whatever that comes up in here will be stolen by this app so this is a really good idea and uh, to overcome this you can disable the notifications or a very good thing would be to go into settings and you cannot find the option easily available here at least i cannot find so i just went in here and search for notification access and here if you see in advanced there is one notification access uh, one app which is reading this just close this and you are good to go okay that's all for this video and 
uh, see you soon if you have any request if you want to see specific videos related to android malware then just let me know in comment section below thank you